morning guys I'm taking you with me today because I'm doing a short run and I'm gonna do a what I refuel with after my run so I picked a good day for it look at that blue sky how good is that so I'm just running down the road part of my run at the moment The dilemma, which I'm sure many Scottish runners face, is the temperature. Uh, normally I wear all these layers and that's perfect, but today the sun is out and I can already feel that my body is overheating. So that's going to be less than pleasant, but we'll keep going. And for any beginners, this is the, the speed test. You want to when you're running you want to be able to talk um, I might be running faster than you would as a beginner but this is still my comfort test because I can talk perfectly well whilst running um, so it's about another mile until I get onto the kind of old railway line where uh, I do most of my running and training so this is where I'm gonna cross the river and it's pretty so I'm gonna share that with you as well So I've come off the busy roads now. This has made about 2.5 miles into my run and I'm going past um, the Duthy Park, which is a really beautiful park and onto the railway line. This is the old railway line which allows me to run uh, about eight miles out this way that's so quiet and peaceful today I'm doing five uh, sorry I'm doing ten in total so I'm gonna switch this off so I can actually enjoy my run so I'll film some more towards the end uh, but yeah I'm just gonna enjoy it now that's me actually going beyond my five mile turn point I didn't really even notice so I'm just gonna turn around in a minute and run back this is how lovely and quiet it is here I think we'll go to the bridge that little spear on top of that house there turn around there and run back look at these skies can you even cope with how beautiful Scotland is today. Trees, me, my feet, all good. I'm on my way back up the hill now. This is where it does normally get tough. This is the start of the hill. It gets steep, so I need to concentrate here. That's me done. That hill was a struggle. I did end up having to do my gratitude steps, uh, which I've spoken about before, on the way up the hill because, oh, it was uh, tough. So I'm back at the house now. I'm not going to bore you with my stretching. I'll take you inside. Um, I've taken off like my really wet clothes um, from sweating and. Um, I, the first thing I'm going to do is have a hydration sachet. Um, so these are amazing and um, it just stops me getting that dehydration headache um, that, I, that I get quite a lot because you sweat so much when you run. Um, and these just replace the electrolytes you lose. Could not live without these. So it's just going to pour it into a, um, a cup. It's kind of like a tropical taste, this one. Um, vitamin C to help maintain the normal function of the immune system after intense exercise and vitamin E to protect cells from oxidative stress um, and it also has six electrolytes in it so yeah that's just the kind of 
gonna drink that whilst I am making a protein shake, which is something I always have. Um, sort of the first 30 minutes after you've run is the best time to replenish and also when your muscles are tr trying to repair from the exercise and protein is key for that. So um, I use um, Arbonne Vegan Pea Protein which is um, a plant-based protein which is much easier to digest than um, the likes of a whey protein which is byproduct of um, milk and um, it can cause things like bloating and gas and digestive stress if you've got a sensitive stomach. So vegan um, or pea protein is much better for your stomach and easier to digest. So um, I, I'm using a vanilla one. Um, so I'm putting in two scoops of that and I'm going to put in, I've got some chia seeds here excuse the chip bowl so I'm just going to pop them in um, I'm also going to use some frozen blueberries and strawberries again um, lots of good antioxidants in blueberries helping your body repair after um, a, a strenuous exercise sorry my brain <laughs> my brain isn't working properly and um, and then the last thing I'm going to put in here is some greens balance so this is got like spirulina um, barley, wheatgrass, chlorella, spinach, red beet juice, like heaps and heaps of amazing, amazing things. Um, and it's great antioxidant again and counts as one of your five a day. So it's a green kind of uh, powder. Um, I'm sure, you know, most greens kind of look like that. Um, it's not something I particularly like to have on its own. It's got quite a acquired taste. But um, I, I just put it into my shake and don't even notice it, getting all the benefits. And lastly, can't make a shake without a banana. This one's a little bit brown, it's like the other half of the banana I had this morning. So I'm just going to pop in half of that. And then lastly we need some... I've actually got some coconut milk left over so I'm going to put some of that in. Just a little bit of that. Top her up with water. Bob's your uncle. Sorry, the lighting in here is terrible. So now I'm just gonna. <laughs> Blitzing this up in the Nutribullet. Honestly, I cannot wait to drink this. This is what I look forward to when I get back from my run. Um. So it's gone a really purpley colour. Oh yeah, that's good. Just what I need. And I'm gonna go and run myself a bath. So thanks for watching and um, I'll see you all soon. Cheers.